cooler this evening on the Central Coast. It was definitely significantly cooler than it was yesterday and even on Friday. On Friday we saw warm temperatures and they were even warmer yesterday, but today they really dropped. Here's a look at those temperatures. We did see Salinas 67 today, Coralito 72, 69 for Big Sur, 71 for Monterey, Carmel Valley 78 and 71 for Hollister. Now you realize these aren't in order. That's because I'm going off of the temperatures that I had yesterday. And here's a comparison of what we saw on Friday. Look at that Salinas. You were I said on Friday, I meant on Saturday Salinas. You were at 92 yesterday. Look at that a 25 degree uh, drop in temperature today for Salinas. And we saw that across the central coast. Most places saw a decrease in temperatures of 10 degrees or more. So yeah, it was a chilly one out there today. And while it's going to be chilly, even more so tomorrow, maybe by a few more degrees. Now with this passing system, we are seeing a little bit of wind out there this evening as well. So it might be a little breezy in spots this evening. Uh, definitely seeing some 50 mile per hour winds out there for the Monterey Peninsula. Even into the Salinas Valley, we're seeing some gusts even up to 20 miles per hour. So this won't last through the overnight hours. We'll start to see those winds die down as the system continues to push off to the east of us. Now on Monday and into Tuesday, especially we have this ridge of high pressure that will build back in. So Tomorrow, behind the cold front, we actually have a cold air mass, so that's why we're seeing our temperatures fall a little bit more tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, this ridge will build back in. We'll warm up just a little bit on Tuesday, see some more clear skies out there. But then we are watching another system that will be moving its way through. This is a weak cold front that is pushing through on Wednesday. It does look like it has some rain with it, though. Again, I'm not expecting any major rain from it, just some light rain. But hey, we have back-to-back -back systems heading our way. So that is some good news because we need that moisture. Like I mentioned, we are starting that push off to the east of us. We will continue to see some lingering showers through the overnight hours as it continues to move out. And then we'll continue to see some patchy clouds out there until about noon. I do think by tomorrow afternoon, we'll see some mostly sunny skies out there. So even though it's gonna be cold, that sunshine's gonna feel nice and warm. And we will continue to see maybe a few lingering clouds, especially around the coast tomorrow. But overall, it's looking like a nice day. Just like I said, a bit on the cool side. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those temperatures out there tomorrow. For Santa Cruz, we're looking at 63, dropping into those mid mid to upper 60s in the Santa Cruz Mountains, 59 for Davenport. We're gonna have a mix of 50s and 60s along the coast tomorrow, 61 for Marina, 61 for Watsonville, 64 for Salinas. In the Santa Clara Valley, we're looking at those mid 60s and 63 for Hollister. Monterey Peninsula, this is probably where we're gonna see some of our cooler temperatures out there, 60 for uh, Pebble Beach, Pacific Grove, 62 and 64 for Monterey. Up and down the Salinas Valley, well, yeah, we're dropping here as well. Not quite those 70s we were seeing today. Actually, we had some spots even in the 80s in southern Monterey County today. We're going to be dropping into those mid to upper 60s out there. I think Bradley could actually hit 70 tomorrow being in southern Monterey County and then Big Sur a high of 64. Let's go ahead and take a look at your next seven days. We are going to see the breezy conditions last, but this is going to be a very light breeze. We will have some lingering morning showers out there tomorrow with some lingering clouds. And then on Tuesday, we'll have a little bit of clearing. I, like I mentioned, some of those clouds will be hanging out around our coastal locations. And this is just ahead of the system we have coming in on Wednesday. That does look like it could bring us another chance of some light patchy rain. And then for the rest of the week, look at that. We're going to stay cloudy and cool. We have, like I mentioned, back-to-back -back systems. So I'm something on Friday as well that could impact us for next weekend as well. And that's going to be the story for our inland locations Two lingering morning showers tomorrow. We're going to remain on the cool side, warming up slightly on Tuesday. By midweek, we have another system moving through. And then even for our inland locations, we're going to be a bit on the cloudy side and a bit on the cool side as well. And there is the potential for some showers even the coming weekend for our inland locations as well. So yeah, do I dare say we might might be in our rainy season finally. This is a good start.